Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use the new image generation model inside NA10. So this is basically using GPT Image 1, which is the brand new API that just came out from ChatGPT and OpenAI. You can actually build tools with it as well. For example, I created this thumbnail tool earlier today. And essentially, if you want to build stuff like this, you have to use the image generation API, but you're not using DALI, you're using GPT Image 1, which is the new release that literally just came out like what, yesterday or the day before. It's brand new and it's absolutely awesome for generating images. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do it step by step. For example, here you can see inside NHM with the workflow, we've set up, it's quite a different workflow to normally using AI agents, but essentially with a quick chat request or an AI agent, you can run through to the image one API. And then using that, you can generate images like you can see with this one right here, right? And then also, inside this workflow you can actually download it so if we download that image you can see it's downloading right now and then if we open it up we have the image automated inside here now this is pretty cool because for example you can connect this to any sort of social media that you're using right so for example you could use twitter and create image posts with text using this automation you could also for example post to linkedin if you wanted to or you could actually post to WordPress, right? So let's say you're creating content, but you want to create hyper-realistic images using the new API key. Well, this is how you do it, right? There's not actually, from what I've seen, there's not a native support. So you have to use the API requests like this, and it takes ages to figure out if you don't watch this video. So make sure you keep watching. I'll show you exactly how to do it, right? So I've actually got the workflow to download if you just want to skip all the messing around and the technical stuff, but essentially here's how it works. So what you can see here, is like, as soon as we send like a message in the text here, it's then going to run a request like you can see inside our settings. So we're running a HTTP request and we're using the endpoint as the URL. So this is the endpoint. Now we're using the method post. Okay, so if you want to set this up, here's how you do it. So essentially you would go to add a new module inside NA10, inside your workflow. And from here, you're going to say chat message or for example, trigger on click, right? Something like that, right? Like you can see right here. So we've got when a chat message is received, you go off and do your magic. Now I can actually put my prompt inside the chat here, and then that will use it to generate the image inside NA10. And then we've got a really nice workflow where we can basically automate whatever we want using this process. So let me show you exactly how this works step by step. So once you've set up the HTTP request, module which you can do again by just clicking the plus sign and then http request you would link these two together all right so http request and then post url is api.openai.com forward slash v1 forward slash images forward slash generations with a https colon double forward slash at the start all right then from there you're going to allow to send headers and you're going to have your authorization here now, when you're adding your API key, which you can get from put bearer space at the front, right? So don't just copy the API key from OpenAI. You want to put bearer space at the front. The reason for doing that is that it will connect to the endpoint. If you don't put bearer, it's not going to work. So you just go to API keys inside platform.openai.com, create a new secret key, and then you're off to the races, right? And then what this module is actually doing is it's generating a json file all right so you can see the json file right here which will convert into an image at the end of our automation so i've shown you the endpoint to use a method etc the heading to use and then you're going to toggle send body and inside here you put json and you use these model these parameters right so model and then value equals gpt hyphen image hyphen one prompt equals whatever your prompt wants to be now you can type this in manually like you see right here so i've put photo realistic youtube thumbnail sam altman looking shocked at an seo chart but we can actually delete that and then we can take the chat input right so this is the message from the chat which is pretty cool because then inside the chat we can say okay here's what i want to generate and it will just go off and do it inside the automation the size you can change the values right here so you, it doesn't have to be a square let's say for example you were creating youtube thumbnails you can change the value right here. Let's say, for example, you were creating Facebook ads images. You could change the creative image size right there as well, right? Pretty simple and easy to do. And that's it. Simple as that. Doesn't take much. And it's pretty simple stuff to do and set up, right? So that's a HTTP request. Again, there's no option to natively generate image 
So you have to do a HTTP request inside NA10. Then from here, we're going to convert to file. Now, what you can see in the input file is that we've clicked on move base64 string to file. So to add this module, you just click on the plus sign, click convert to file, click that module right there. And then inside this section, base input field, you just use b64 underscore JSON, all right, which you can drag and drop from there. And then inside the operation here, you put whatever you want. So you want to put base, type in base, and then click on move base64 to string to file, all right? That's how you do it. So this is really simple and easy. And then what you're going to see inside the data section here is that it does its magic, but you have to click on view to view it, right? Or if you want to download the image, you have to download it. Now, the reason that we have this module is that if you run the HTTP request and you run that file, it's just going to generate like a really long string of data. It's not going to be very useful. And so you have to move that string into a file that becomes an image. And then the image is what you download and use for your automation. So let's test this out now. I've made a little change, as you can see, so I don't know if it's going to work 100%, but let's see what we get. So we've typed in the chat message. As you can see, it's now running the HTTP request. If this takes a little while, I wouldn't panic because typically it takes 40 seconds to generate an image when I've timed it with OpenAI. So it might take a little while for you to get the outputs back, but that's okay. It's just a little bit slow sometimes. Now, once we've got this working as well, what we can also do is we could have an AI agent that creates a prompt for us right in between. So for example, if we type in a chat message inside the chat here to generate the image, then we can add an AI agent that actually converts that idea into a nice prompt for GPT image one, and then we'll send that over to the HTTP request. Now, if you want to just steal the workflow from me, you can actually download the JSON file right here. So we can download that JSON file from the AI profit boardroom. Just go to the SAPs and then NA10 section. And then from there, you can click on import from file, upload the JSON file, and then you're good to go on that. All right. Now, if you want to see an example of what it looks like, here's the HTTP request, as you can see. And then if we go inside here, convert to file, click view, and you can see the image of Sam Altman living the dream. All right. So that's essentially how it works step by step. Pretty simple and easy to implement. This one, I have done a test run before, and this one didn't actually work. I think sometimes the API is just a bit broken or whatever. So I'm actually going to stop that workflow, but you can see here it worked perfectly. All right. Really easy and simple. And then you can convert it to a file. Now, if you want to add AI agent in between to take the idea that you have and then turn it to something better, here's how to do it. So you would just click on the plus sign here, click on AI agent, insert that in, take the previous input, change the system message here. And we'll put something like you are a creative thumbnail designer for YouTube videos, take the idea from the team and turn it into an amazing prompt or image generation. All right, on chat GPT. And then inside the prompt message here, we can take the connected chat trigger node, take the file right there, use the idea here, and then we'll grab the idea from here, plug that in, there we go. And then the other thing that we have to do here is just inside the chat model, just add an example chat model. So let's say for example, opening up and then boom, look at that. So if we go back into the chat here and we say something like, okay, idea equals SEO link building thumbnail, that's going to trigger the AI agent. AI agent has come up with the prompt. All right. But we just need to change that a little bit on the system information. Here we go. All right. So it came up with the image generation prompt right here. For example, human idea equals SEO link building thumbnail using the inputs. And then it's like create a captivating YouTube thumbnail. For a video about SEO link building, the design should be blah, blah, blah. And it just takes that idea and we can be super lazy. And then it can just come up with a way to insert that into the OpenAI API, right? And so now we have a trigger where we give the AI agent an idea that turns it into a prompt that sends it to the API. The API creates the JSON file is converted into an output. And then, you know, you've got your image generation like you can see pretty simple and easy. And if you want the whole workflow for that, if you just don't want to set this up yourself, etc., go inside the AI profit boardroom, download the JSON file right here, and you're good to go on it. All right. And also here's a cool thing as well. So what you can do with all of this is you can make the workflow active, right? And then if you go inside here, you can make this publicly available, grab the chat URL. And then you can put something like, Hey, what's your 
YouTube thumbnail idea. Wait, save on that. Then we just have to activate the workflow, which we've done over here. And then we've got the chat right here. All right, and so inside this AI agent, you can create the images that you want, and then it'll go through your workflow. Pretty awesome. So if you want to get my community and the workflow from today, plus I've even got a tool that I've created using AI to generate images. So you can see it right here, it's a YouTube thumbnail generator. So you just plug in your OpenAI API key, you plug in your prompt, you generate your thumbnail, and boom, you're ready to go on that. If you want to get that, plus the NA10 workflow from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This is a community focused on making more money and saving time with AI, right? And if you want to scale your business like we have, if you want to save time, if you want to hire less but make more money, then feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments description. Additionally, it comes with all my best courses, like you can see right here on AI Agents. We literally add new SAPs every single day. We have weekly Q&A calls so you can jump on live and ask any questions you have. And additionally, inside the community is very active, so you can ask any questions you got. Additionally, what you can also see is that we are just constantly updating this. It's absolutely insane. Like 21 hours ago, you can see all the stuff that we've added right here, including the Q&As, shout outs to people, and then all this stuff that's new in the classroom, right? So it's absolutely amazing. Plus, you can DM us with any questions you have. So feel free to get that price is going up at the end of the month. Make sure you grab it now. And if you want to get a free SEO strategy session, feel free to get that. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and multiplier. On this free link building acceleration session, you get a custom tailored game plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building, we'll answer any questions you have one-to-one -one live on the call. Feel free to get that. And it's all based on what's working for our happy clients, like you see right here. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.